All right, y'all, so I just made it to Odessa. Let me show you guys this car, man, real quick and explain exactly what we got. Let's get it, y'all. Let's go, man. Welcome back to Chuck's Daily Hustle. Everybody, man, we're going to start this video off a little bit different, man. It's been a while since I've done this, man, but I'm going to give a major shout out, man, in a major way to Javion Parker, man. I appreciate you every time, man. You've been, uh, you know, on every video, you comment, you leave a like, man. Um, you even follow me on Facebook on the uh, Church Daily Hustle page, and uh, we have officially got our first Facebook um, share, man, from Javion Parker, man. So shout out to you. I appreciate you, like I always say, man, for rocking with me. Um, and that's just dope, man. Um, also, everybody that um, is tuning in right now, you guys, we are officially like 27 people away from our Instagram following goal of a thousand. So if you haven't already, man, go join the La Familia and go over there on Instagram and support your boy for free, man. I do appreciate it, you guys. Um, but I'm not here to really um, pitch anything to you today, man. I'm here to start this vlog. I think this is gonna be like a couple of days, like it's gonna be like two days in one vlog. Because I don't have too much set up today and I don't think I can actually get to everything. So right now, you guys, we are on this highway, man. Um, as always, we are always in a different car and it's always a different office. Um, if you guys are kind of peeping what we got going on, we are in the Ford Fiesta, man. So um, we're in the Ford Fiesta. The car is officially done mechanically. Um, so we got to basically clean it out. I am not going to pay anybody to detail this. Um, this is a black car and i will once i get to where we're going which is a dessa auto auction you guys um a dealer only auction um once we get there i'm gonna show you guys um the car and everything and then uh we're just going to kind of continue our day and hopefully we can get as much done as we can so before we get out there man i did want to give you guys my like thoughts my actual perception now that carvana is seems to be kind of in full effect at being at Odessa, all right? So um, these are, this is an entirely different viewpoint from when I made my other video, which I'm gonna go ahead and include somewhere in this video. You can go ahead and click on it if you want to watch that video. But um, this is different. Now that they actually are showing kind of their moves, um, I'm able to kind of tell you guys a different viewpoint. And I'm gonna keep you guys updated on this whole thing too at Odessa. So um, uh, as far as like what I'm seeing right now, um, number one, they uh, changed over the phone system. So uh, I know that's not a big major thing, but they did change over the phone system. So when you give a call, instead of you giving a, a, a local person directly at the office, you're now getting routed to a call center or they may have like a whole bunch of reps and different addresses that's able to answer the phone. I don't know, I'm not gonna ask, I really don't care about that. But the huge thing, what I'm seeing right now, man, um, I would say, I don't know if this is gonna be a bad or a good thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and give a shout out to Brent, Brent uh, Byers as well on this one. He said that he saw a lot of good and a lot of bad um, that could happen um, with this whole Carvana Odessa buyout. Now, I'm gonna say this. I saw that there's only one franchise dealer left. One franchise dealer left at Odessa and that's a Chevy dealer. Now there used to be about, I wanna say, no my bad, there's two franchise dealers left. Um, and uh, the one's a Hyundai store and then one's a uh, Chevy store. So there used to be about four to five, I wanna say. Um, now, like I said, there's two. Um, so those are, those, those, that long line of cars, they're gone. Now what I am seeing is that there is still the repos, there's still like car hop um, and a whole bunch of small dealers, which we all kind of know. So um, we, so let me not even go all the way in detail with that. But what I am gonna say is what I am seeing right now is that there is a new wholesaler that I've never even heard of in the state of Minnesota. Um, I did look them up and they had a lot of uh, different states and different auctions that they were working with over the US. But like I said, I've never ever heard of them until now because of the, I'm assuming because of the whole Carvana buyout. Um, so um, I think it's called Car Group or something like that. Um, and they have a huge list that's like a huge, what I like to call it a huge uh, run or a huge, uh, and that means like a run is like a, you running a whole uh, line of cars. 
um, through um, one lane at the auction. So um, I looked at the cars that I specialize in and I think I've made a list of like maybe 25 cars, which is a big thing at Odessa because you never really get to see that type of list any longer. You usually get like a list of like 10 to 12. So um, that seems to be good. But um, I will say that I'm seeing a lot of higher mileage vehicles. Plus I'm seeing a lot of cars that are like rusty, um, kind of looking like, you know, S H I T boxes. So I can't, I can't, uh, say that word on YouTube, but, <laughs> um, I will say that man. Um, so I'm going to, you know, basically see what's going on out here. I will be doing an auction walk around video today, which is not going to be included in this vlog. So make sure y'all tune in to the actual, uh, auction walk around video. I will title it something to do with the Dessa and Carvana. So maybe like an auction walk around after the Carvana buyout or something like that. So make sure y'all tune into that so that way y'all can see the new type of, you know, um, structure that they got going on and y'all can see these cars. So hopefully they got their stuff together and when we go out there right now that they actually have a lot of cars out instead of them having only 10 cars out and then I have to come back a second time throughout the day to try to drive the car. So um, we'll see what's up. I am a little bit excited, but I'm also kind of going to be very very like i'm gonna be very cautious because i don't know this wholesaler i don't know um what they're here to bring i don't know if these are gonna be good cars or bad cars so i'm, I'm coming out here i got my jump pack i got my uh cold reader all that stuff um if you guys are new dealers aspiring dealers whatever the case may be go check out the links in the description below i got the all the links you need to go get the stuff you need that i use on a day-to-day as well um so we'll see what's up now i did want to give a, a shout out to brent Byers because he kind of said this to me that there could be good and there could be bad with it man so um we'll see man you know what i mean so um let's just stay tuned all right y'all so i just made it to odessa let me show you guys this car man real quick and explain exactly what we did to it um so here's the four fiesta for the new guys um just do a little walk around real fast so y'all can see i need to clean it out like i said and then i need to wash it then we can get this thing posted ready to go pop this trunk which i didn't do ever looks like we got the spare tire back there so we're gonna need to hide that and uh well put it back where it's supposed to go and then uh clean out that trunk as well um but this thing rides really really good y'all it's it's gotten windy again so hopefully y'all can hear me um, but there she is man so what we ended up doing with this car y'all um, we ended up needing a uh, front left um wheel bearing um, and then we also needed to do a CV axle. So we did a CV axle wheel bearing on this side. And if you guys can remember, um, this door, when I first got this car, this uh, door right here, let me unlock it real quick. Um, it would not um, stay shut. So um, what we had to do was uh, we actually had to replace this entire um, module that's in here or door latch assembly is what it's called. So um, I had to get it from the dealer. I think it cost me like, I want to say 80 bucks. Um, so I got it from the dealer. Um, shout out to uh, New Brighton Ford in the state of Minnesota. They always give me the plug. They always cheaper than anybody else um, by far. So um, I've been rocking with them for years. And so they hooked me up. So um, like I said, man, it's good. Um, it's got about, let me go in here so y'all can actually hear me. But it's got about 1,500 uh, miles left on the oil change. Oil, oil is clean and all that. So I'm not going to do um, a different oil change on it or nothing like that. Um, so we'll be straight. What's up, y'all? It's a new day, man, and I am in a new car. Before we even talk about this car and what we got going on with it, um, your boy just got four cars, you guys. So be expecting some content. We got some decent cars that's going to be coming to the channel that we're going to be getting ready for sale, man. And I'm going to be picking them up, all that good stuff. I'm not going to put that on this video because this one's getting a little bit long. But let's talk about this Audi Q5 that we are finally back in, you guys. So you can see that joint. It looks nice, but you know, everything that glitter ain't gold, right? So um, just giving y'all an update. I picked this up from Brian. All we did was do an oil change, you guys. And I'm bringing this out right now to Audi, Minneapolis. Um, they are going to, well, actually I kind of skipped because we kind of skipped past the whole Audi. Everybody been asking about what's been going on with the Audi. So to break it down, um, we had it at Chris's, right? We know that this thing does not go into park. So that's the big issue, right? Chris said it might be, I think they call it like a transmission prong or something like that. Um, did some research and it might be a sensor 
but nobody really knows all of the forums that you know the mechanics use they can't find anything so basically bring it to the dealer is what it ends up being so it went from chris it went to brian's um brian's just for an oil change because i um, wanted to make sure that it had the oil this car does not have the actual dipstick um it's all computerized and i don't trust that so i wanted to make sure that we weren't going to blow a motor or anything like that because i didn't do my due diligence to just pay forty dollars for an oil change so i did that got the oil change done um and now um it's been sitting for a while because we've been buying more cars flipping more cars um and sometimes i don't have enough time in the day so we got to kind of keep it moving and grooving right so um right now i'm bringing it out to audi minneapolis um in minnesota of course you guys and brian has a connection there um a good friend of his that's actually one of the service managers and i'm gonna be bringing it to him um and he's gonna manage it um and obviously i'm gonna get me a discount on uh, them diagnosing it and giving me a final um, say so exactly what it is so i'm just you know going, not going to cut any corners um i understand that at this predicament where the position that i'm in right now um that my mechanics don't know what the hell's going on with the car so obviously we need to get it to a place where they know what the hell's going on so um that's what we're going to do if it's going to be something simple then um of course i would have my mechanic do it um himself or themselves whatever because you guys know i got a couple um and uh you know i'll save some money if not if this thing ends up being you know costing a lot of money then obviously we're probably gonna run this back through the auction um and then you know get some of our money back and hopefully we get it all so um so you know i'm not i'm not gonna trip on it man uh, 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 yeah. Woo. Sheesh. taking over taking off I'm up, 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 I'm got the plug man so shout out to kevin at audi minneapolis um he's the guy that's he's like a service manager or service advisor so if you guys rock with him um, if you guys end up needing something service just go ahead and let them know that chuck from major motors sent him sent you i mean and uh yeah man so we got tweezy over here man you think he buff now because he go to the gym about three times a week you know it's like five but, uh, <laughs> So they don't everything. Do, <laughs> yeah. do right. Nah, do man. We, we all been on. We got a, a good circle, man, that everybody keeps each other motivated, keeps them accountable for their actions. We talk about a lot of things daily um, spiritual, financial, health, all that. Misses them? Nah, and that's not even just in the in the just the car world not just our our circle with brothers you know what i mean so um y'all most definitely should always have y'all a group that's going to be able to help you expand as a person not to, even to the next level this is all about the next level yeah most definitely man so i um, mean that relates to anything so if you're not even on here to be into the business if you're just trying to be a better person or you're trying to figure it out like that's something that you need to do in my opinion and you should feel that way too because you ain't gonna be able to do better unless you know better know what I mean um, but anyways man um, I'm gonna end this video like that man I do appreciate you guys like I always say for rocking with me um, we actually on our way right now out to Odessa to go grab some cars so I think I'm gonna start a new video in a second and then I'll get that to you obviously when it drops um, but I will see you on the next one I'm out Peace.